All right, guys, we're here. Uh, we're not making a video or anything, but Sean just showed up with my trailer and this truck on it. What kind of truck is this, Sean? It's a 64 Ford, I guess it predates the F series. Okay. So uh, Chris is in the truck. Not entirely sure if the brakes work, but we do know that the motor runs, although it was pushed up onto a trailer with a Bobcat. So now we are going to unload it and hopefully that telephone pole that's back there will serve as a bump stop if the brakes do not work. So go ahead, sugar. Oh, we're pushing you? Okay, here, we're gonna push him. You use that, Justin's gonna be the cameraman. That's right. The gears work. Yeah, it's got a clutch, it's not moving. Jesus doesn't know how to drive well, I, a stick. I, I got it in neutral. So you want to push? Yeah. All right, we'll push. You ready? <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. We stopped. We stopped. Right. 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 Perfect. That's a win. So you're going to put a 7 3 on this? Well, really? Just the body. Just the body. <laughs> really? It's just a sheet metal going on the. Uh... Super Duty chassis. So this cha this body is going to go on a yeah. 7.3 Super Duty chassis. Right. So it'll, it'll appear to be an old truck. So it's going to look like an old truck. And your son has a YouTube channel. Do you know his name? Brian is his name. No, I know your son's name. <laughs> What's his YouTube channel's name? Wide 7.3. Wide seven three. All right, I'm gonna find his is if it's it might be wide seven. I think it's something different though. Could be too. I'm gonna post the YouTube channel where you can find all these truck videos on my YouTube channel and down in the description. But because there's some cool videos if you're into trucks and stuff. So, all right, I don't. Know, I guess this will be part of some video. <laughs> well, guys, it's the following morning. Uh, we were gonna try and make a video today doing tree work, but. We uh, are getting a little delayed. It's now like nine o'clock. I am in the international hook lift truck on the way to go grab the chipper. Truck started up fine, had it plugged in all night, um, but the fuel, the diesel fuel has gelled. Uh, yesterday, as soon as Chris and I got home, pretty much after you saw that clip where with Sean unloading his, his new toy, uh, we promptly got called into work. We had crazy winds all night, super low temperatures. Chris and I were in at work until 2 a.m., then had to drive like 45 minutes home. Got up at like 6.30 this morning, tried getting everything going. All the trucks and tractors fired up. No problem. Um, the International is having some issue. My plan was to go grab some diesel 911 uh, yesterday after work, but as soon as we got home, pretty much we got called back into work and you know, obviously I couldn't get any diesel 911 at two o'clock in the morning. So that's kind of where we at. We're at, Chris is on his way to go get diesel 911 now. I threw some diesel fuel supplement that I had in the truck into the fuel filter, started up <clears throat> and then it started sputtering after about five minutes of running. Um, so that is where we're at. It is really cold. Negative six degrees here in Connecticut, and that's a, a real negative six, not like neg negative six Celsius, negative six degrees Fahrenheit. Um, not that one is real or, you know, versus the other, but just letting you know how cold it is here. We will check back in later. Uh, currently, luckily, we're only about a mile away from the house, so at least it didn't happen in the middle of the highway. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. My name is Jake. This morning, we are out here in the wood yard. The weather has significantly improved. You might have seen a couple of the clips at the beginning of this video 
from yesterday and the day before. Yesterday, I woke up and the temperature was negative six degrees. Chris and I were supposed to go do tree work. That didn't end up happening because the fuel in the international dump truck got gelled up. I think I might have discussed this in, in the one clip of me sitting in the truck. Anyway, long story short, we couldn't go do the job. So we ended up coming back here to the wood yard, cleaning some stuff up. We were gonna split firewood, but then more friends ended up coming over and it turned into just like a little wood yard party during the day. It was so cold out, but we had a rip roaring fire going. I just got it going again from all the leftover coals. So now it's much warmer about a like almost a 50 degree temperature change swing between yesterday at this time and today. Right now it's about 42 degrees, I think. Um, so it's a beautiful day. I have all these cut up rounds. I'm by myself. So today I'm going to try, we'll see how long it lasts, but I'm going to try to split from this side. That way I can just feed all of the pieces on and, uh, you know, not have to walk around constantly to be loading up the log lift arm here on the rugged made splitter. I just warmed everything up, greased everything up. So we should be good to go. Everything's full of fuel. Um, I've tried doing this before and I, and I just don't really like it. I'm, I'm used to the controls being with my left hand because I'm a lefty. I'm used to not having the log lift in the way to you know retrieve the rounds to pull them back. But I do have my Fiskars Hookaroon. I finally got another one of these after breaking it last year. Um, so we're gonna try and use that to pull the rounds back and we'll see how we do. So we're not gonna make a ton of firewood today, but just take it slow and slow and steady. It's a nice Sunday morning, so no other way I'd rather spend a nice morning like this. So here we go. Well guys, that didn't last long. It's about probably less than five minutes of splitting. And I believe we got a broken chain up there on the conveyor. Yep. There's a broken link right there. So that kind of sucks. Um, at least it's not a link where one of the paddles is mounted. Um, I'm gonna have to go get the spare chain and the chain breaker tool and we're gonna try and get this fixed I suppose. Um, not really much else choice. Also these fittings we tightened them yesterday and put thread you know like pipe thread compound on them and they are just leaking like a sieve so I don't know what's going on there. But uh, that's all fresh, so I gotta address that too. All right guys, just got in the basement here and I got the chain breaker tool and the spare roll of chain. So the way that this thing works is it holds the you know, chain links in there and then it helps so that you can actually um, you know, rotate the chain to where the slot is to, to bang out the link. So these, these links I've found when I've had to take chain or links off of this new roll are actually kind of tough because it's not as worn down, you know, from, from running. So it, it, it's a little bit difficult and I did not bring in my camera with the magnet or tripod. So I'm just going to bang this thing out and uh, get this link separated here. Okay guys, I just came back out here with all of the appropriate tools and stuff, but Sarah just called me saying that she's home from the gym. So we are gonna go and do some stuff today together. Um, but I did just find this on the ground. I didn't notice this before. So it did break at one of the paddles. I'm guessing that's probably due to 
heating up of these uh, old links. So we will pick up on this next time I come out here, but it's, I mean, both of the, both of the chains you can see are, are hanging down there. Um, so we're gonna, well, I don't know if you can see that with the sun and everything, but anyway, you're gonna have to trust me. We're probably gonna have to pull the conveyor <clears throat> out next time and bring it up to the house. That way we can weld on a new, a, you know, th this paddle basically we'll have to grind off, um, where is it, these old tabs and uh, weld on, you know, th the bar once we get the chain put back together. So. For now, that's gonna be it, and we'll pick back up in a couple days, I guess. Okay guys, we are back the next day. We just got the conveyor brought up to the house so that we can start addressing this. Um, the chain has fallen down, you know, on the bottom here, but Chris and I just discussed that we think it's gonna be much easier to get, to reconnect the chain if it was, if the brake was like down on the on the trough, um, as opposed to where it is at the very top. So we're gonna try and walk the chain either forward or backward, start it up and get it, you know, somewhere here where it's easy working level. Um, and, and that's kind of the game plan. Okay guys, we spun the chain all the way around so that now we have the broken links here at a nice easy working height at the bottom of the conveyor rather than all the way at the top. We're going to get these old broken links off and then we're going to splice in the two new links right here and then once we get these, the, you know, the chain back together, we'll cycle it back all the way up to the top and weld on a new crossbar at when it's in the center of the top sprockets, just like we did all the others. That way we, we know that it's the right width for the sprocket. So Chris is putting on the ratchet strap to get us some slack and to hold the chain in place while we work on it. So guys, what we were worried about is that we need, I forgot, but we need to put in these special mounting tabs that have the, the little tab here to be able to weld the bar to. We can't just use regular, uh, you know, links because that wouldn't really give us anything to mount a new bar to. And which would be fine if, if we didn't have this, we could just put the chain back together and we'd be just have one less paddle. But since we do have one of each side, there's like a left and a right. You can see they're mirrors of each other. That's what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna have to order some more of these because we only have one spare left. Yes. Okay. Do you want to hold? Do you want me to hold it? How do you want to do it? I don't care. Camera view. Here we go. 
too too much of that too far. Less that. That was easy. Yeah. What's up, Gus? You come and check things out? Hey, Lou. You boys here to help? No. What's up, buddy? Oh. I fucked that one up. Is it twisted? Yeah. Oh, jeez. That's what I was trying to figure out. Still Did I rush out. you? <laughs> okay, now it has to be like this. Correct? Yes. Okay guys, this will be the first time I'm welding with this new clamp. With the, the grounding clamp, so hopefully that'll work. And uh, let's give this a shot. Okay, well, that appears to be working a lot, a lot better. Cool, so guys, the uh, new ground clamp seems to be doing the trick a lot better and I also took some advice and was letting the wire uh, you know holding this farther away like I don't know if you could see that but you know holding it out farther rather than so close um, and it seemed to help not gum up the tip quite as much Chris is over here heating up these bolts they're like little Allen bolts uh, screws trying to get this cover off because we've been having for a while some issues with it leaking hydraulic fluid out of here, out of these two fittings. We put on some pipe thread compound, but it was so cold the other day, it didn't really ever dry. I think it just like froze and now it kind of like thawed out. So we're trying to get this cover off so we can adequately tighten these. You can see they're like just loose by hand. What's up, Lou?
All right, guys, we are back up and running. Things look pretty good. Um, I got these back on. Oh. Something just stopped. I'm not sure if the detent popped. I think the detent popped. Yeah. I put a new handle on this. Might have to adjust the detent a little bit. It pops pretty easily, but Chris just went out to get some more screws for the cover, some new screws. So we'll put that on when he gets back. But we are back up and running. So all in all, not too shabby. Okay, so what'd you get? I got some stainless steel screws to replace the Allen head screws that were holding that plate on. Okay. I was hoping for a hex head, but the best they could do was a Phillips head. All right, so we'll just, a little bit better. yeah, we'll get a big number three Phillips, it looks like. Yeah. All right, we'll lower it down and try that. All right, guys, we were able to get it all back together just as the sun is starting to go down. Chris looks like an illuminated traffic cone. Um, but we were just saying, rarely do projects go, well, again, we don't want to say it again. We're counting our chickens before they hatch. We are. So let's bring it back to the wood yard. And if nothing breaks by the time we get back there, then we'll be pretty close to success. Yeah. Halfway, almost. Half, almost halfway. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow will be the test when we actually put wood. Through. Put some wood. Well, you know, we could run it. We've got some lights out there now, buddy. All right, guys, it has gotten dark, but we got the conveyor back here underneath the shelter and in position the rugged made log splitter. So tomorrow will be a new day. Yeah, hopefully a little bit warmer than it is at this moment. Yeah, the wind is still ripping. Um, we got plenty of ash to send through, so. We sure do. We got a whole pile of ash. I split about five rounds. You can see it's just still on the splitter. Um, and that's all we got done. So should be able to fill up the dump trailer. One, two, three, all this stuff is really nice size. It should push through pretty quick. I need to get some good six way action. That's what I said when I initially pushed it all up. I think a lot of this is prime for the six way. Um, so we could do some footage with that. But uh, I think that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. So guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you to everybody that gave me feedback on the welder because it seemed to work. Um, it, was, it was working a lot better than I had in the past. So um, I think the ground clamp was the issue. I mean, you don't have a good ground. You're, you know. It's you're gonna not, arc somewhere. Yeah, it, <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it, it's not where I wanted it to. Um, so yeah, thanks again for that. Hopefully this all works out and we'll get back to splitting. So as always guys, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button down below. Questions, comments, or feedback, throw it down in that comment section. Check out our merch. There's a link down in the description below. Also check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. TikTok now. I, I probably some of you guys don't like the shorts and stuff, but you know what? It's been driving a ton of viewers to the channel. So, yeah, go check us out if you're interested in that stuff. I'm Jake. And I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.